Now at 5.30, police are asking for the public's help in tracking down the person responsible for a brutal attack at a Metrolink station in Fontana. Good evening. This is the KTLA 5 News at 5.30. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Micah Ullman. The assault happened back in January and the victim remains in critical condition. Police are urging anyone with information to come forward. KTLA's Shelby Nelson is live in Fontana with the very latest. Shelby. Hi, Sharon Micah. Yeah, unfortunately, police say the outlook for this victim isn't looking so good right now, and that's partly why they are asking for the public's help. If anybody has any information, are familiar with him, familiar with any of his acquaintances, you know, please contact the uh, Fontana Police Department so we can look into those leads because we're looking for anything to help. Officer Steve Reed with Fontana Police is talking about a 58-year-old man now on life support after he was found unresponsive at this park near the Fontana Metrolink station on Orange Way back in January. Detectives have been working to find who was responsible, but after coming up short, they're asking for the public's help. They say on January 26th, a medical aid call came in. The victim, Ronald Barr, was found on the grass and critical condition and appeared to have been severely beaten. It would have been between uh, 10 o'clock at night on the 25th and 5 o'clock in the morning on the 26th. Cameras point in that direction, but because it was overnight, police say buses were parked there, obstructing the view of the park and where it happened. They believe he was a transient that lived in the area and we're suspecting, but we don't really have anything to go on, that it might be a, a transient, another transient that fought with him, but we don't know at this point. Police say the area is where many unhoused come to sleep. They also frequent the bus and train stop. It's a little hectic at times, but honestly, I didn't even know that happened. Timothy Valadez rides the Metrolink train often to get to work. The assault doesn't come as a surprise to him, nor does it come as a surprise to Charlotte, who came in from L.A. No. Why not? Because it's, it's everywhere now. You, know, you hear people say, oh, not in this neighborhood, but... That's not the case anymore. It's everywhere and it's unfortunate. Frequent riders like this woman don't always feel safe here. Meantime, police say the assailant for the incident hasn't been caught and they're hoping someone will come forward. And the victim is in a long term care facility. Again, police say the outlook for him is not looking good. They don't have any descriptions of the suspect or suspects. We don't even know if there's one or more. And again, that's why they are asking for the public's help so that someone can come forward and so they can eventually find who is responsible. Reporting live in Fontana, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. Shelby, thank you.